Hey guys, this is Terry with AirOneSupply.com. Today we're going to be discussing changing that control board. And here we go. First thing you do is you come to your, your gas furnace. This particular model is made by Carrier. Pull the panels off. Oh, first, unplug the furnace. We do not want anybody to get electrocuted. Once you have unplugged the furnace from the power supply, what you'll do is remove the panels. Gently lift up on the bottom panel. Lift off to the side. Lift up on the upper panel. Lay it off to the side. Now on this furnace, what you'll notice is the control panel is covered by a dust shield. To remove that shield, what you'll do is you'll get a quarter inch nut driver. Once you take the two screws loose, the dust cover simply comes out like such. Now if you'll notice, looking at this control board, you have five terminals over here. You have the W, the Y, the R, the C, and the G. I'm not going to go into what each one of those control, but I can tell you if you're going to change your control board out, generally you'll have a G, a green wire on the G, a blue wire on the common, a red on red, yellow on yellow, white on white. But that's not necessarily true in all cases. But what you do is you simply Remove those wires with a flathead screwdriver like such. Pull them off of the board. One, two, three. Make a note. Take a picture of which wires went where. So many times people just get in here in a mad hurry. They start pulling wires off. Holy smokes. They forgot where they went. Trouble. Big trouble. But anyways, mark every wire. Okay, now on this control board, we have removed the low voltage wiring to the left. Now what we have here is our blower motor wiring, which the white wire goes on common. We'll remove. All right, we'll pull these motor leads off. Have to get a pair of needle nose pliers. Sometimes these terminals get kind of tight on the, uh, on the control board. There's your red low speed your black high speed okay remove those on out of the way we've unplugged the furnace from the wall on this particular model they have a little power plug that feeds the control board you can unplug that simply by doing this remember every wire that we're taking off of this control board we have noted we have took pictures and we're making sure that when we put the new board back on that these wires are going to go back in the same place so we'll go ahead and continue disconnecting wires off the board. Common wire, black power wire. All right, continuing on, we will pull PR2, which is to your transformer, PR1, which is to your transformer, low voltage, to secondary two, and secondary one, there again. Everything's been noted, everything's been marked. We're gonna make sure it goes back on the new board in that fashion. Now, we've got all the wires cleared from the board. We'll go ahead and remove the board from the mounting bracket. All right, something that's unique about this particular board, this is a carrier board. The original number is CES 011057-00-02. What's unique about it is it has an edge board connector, and that mounts to the top of the new ICM-281. This is an edge board connector in the field. Notice how the wiring harness comes into the top of the board. That unplugs off the control board. So what we do, we remove the board 
And now you can see your old control board. You can see when I was talking about PR1, PR2, you can see how everything is labeled. And before I touch any control board, I always, always mark where each wire went. For this particular change out, we use the ICM281, which can be purchased at aironesupply.com. Oh. First thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the old board versus the new board. Always good to take a visual inspection before you hook anything up to make sure that your corresponding wire connections are accounted for and the same. Okay, and if we look at the two boards side by side, you can see some of the similarities. You've got your 24 volt connections on your old board GCRYW. G C R Y W. You also have your EAC1, EAC2, EAC1, EAC2, common L2, L1, common L2, L1, PR2, PR1, secondary 1 and 2, secondary 1 and 2. So we know from pulling the old board off that this new board has adequate terminals with the same designation on old and new. Also, I forgot about the low and high uh, connections there that we have on the old board. Okay, we're going to go ahead and install the new ICM281 in the furnace. Remember that edge board connector that goes up on the top? Let's see here. First, we'll put the mounting screws back in. Okay, now we got it mounted in there, we'll go ahead and put the edge boards connector back onto the new board simply by pushing it on there. Okay, the white wire went on L2. And this black wire from the power supply went to L1. Remember, plug your power supply back in as your black and white wire feeding. This was your common wire for the blower motor. You can see it is going back to the blower motor. That goes on COM. Your black wire, which is your high speed, goes on high red wire which was your low speed goes on low now all we have left to do is wire up our transformer and the white was on PR2 that's primary voltage PR primary and your black is on PR1 okay now we're going to hook our secondary wires up and the blue wire goes on secondary 2 the red wire goes on secondary one. After all those connections have been made, you will need to wire up your low voltage, which this goes to your thermostat. As we discussed before, your green wire generally goes to green, common wire goes to C, your red wire goes to red, yellow wire goes to Y, and white wire goes to white. Now we finish wiring up the ICM281 on the carrier furnace. We hope that uh, this video has been informative, but as always, we recommend to hire a trained service professional to fix any of your air conditioning needs. Thank you.